Hey everybody, it is me, Margaret, and this is just going to be a chatty type video, just because um, it's one of those times where it's like I'm reaching out to my tribe, because it's been nuts, this whole like move and um, moving into the new house, I, I've made a little bit of a, um, you know, a few other videos about what's been going on with the whole house doodad the whole house situation and the insanity that has ensued from it um but yeah i feel that i put as the title me a raging pessimist because normally i'm super optimistic and everything is like it's cool it's gonna and i'm really i'm really trying to keep it optimistic i'm really pushing to try to continue to tell myself you know once everything gets squared away once everything's good you know fixed and we figure out everything else that's happening, um, it'll be really, really good. But it has been, uh, I don't know how, you're you are sitting on a pile of stuff and one of them is my planner. It's, it, it's yeah, I can't remember what I told you last. Even my dad called today and was like, telling me something I said to my mom earlier. And I was like, I didn't, I don't think I talked to mom today. He's like, no, you did. And I was like, oh, like I can't even keep track of who I spoke to. It's been that crazy. Um, we've had hi in the chat, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yeah. And I, I, I like the whole thing about like moving being the most stressful time. One of the most stressful things, like, I think that's true even just in like a normal move, but this has been really abnormal as far as the, everything goes. So, um, it's been really nuts and I'm just hanging on. I mean, even yesterday I was a little, sensitive about some comments that were made that normally I would have just brushed off or laughed off or something and you know so I've been overly a little overly sensitive so anyway um hello everybody hi Heather and Herod family hi Amy hi Cindy and Debbie hi Maggie hi Richard Diva and Shelby hey Francis and Mr. Mark you can see the stress in my eyes I, and I lay in bed last night just like mantraing to myself just let it all go. 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 There's no control. You are not in control. Just, you know, take it. I just got off the phone with my sister because I was supposed to be there helping her. Um, I was supposed to go Sunday. Dad took over. Then I was supposed to go today to switch out with dad and can't go today either. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to go for the next couple weeks. Um, so Marcy says, I've been wondering what's happening uh, with all the mess. Hope it's not ruining the joy of the move. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, Ray, hey, Clarence Ninja. Um, hi, Dana. Yeah, it's it's really tough. I'm sorry I'm saying hi to everybody, but I really, yeah, I'm trying to stay positive. Um, oh, okay keep breathing. So I just have to say like my realtor has been amazing. My realtor and her husband have just been amazing. Yesterday, the, I'm trying to remember what all I've told you and what all I have not told you. Um, <laughs> I wish. Thank you for the virtual hugs and everything y'all. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really stressful not being able to be there for my sister. Like I said, I just, I just hung up with her and we'll get to that, I guess. But um, my, my realtor has been just amazing and so, so supportive and following up on things with me. Her husband's a contractor, so he's been coming to help with things that he can help with. Um, they got a plumber. I don't know if I told you about that part. So they have a, a plumber friend that came in. So plumber came in because I don't know if I told you like the downstairs toilet and shower, all that just, just not working anymore. Well, it turns out we find out that, and, and part of me is like, maybe I shouldn't be talking about this loony because, and I'm sorry if you're watching and you're the loony, don't take it the wrong way. But even my dad was like, this guy sounds psycho. And I'm like, what if he finds out I'm making videos talking about it and he goes all psycho? <laughs> but I'm just like, no, why should I live in fear because of somebody, you know, and again, it's all how much of it can I prove was actually done, sabotaged, you know, and why somebody would behave that way is a question mark as well. But um, there's just one thing after another has been going wrong. And 
<laughs> Everything can be fixed. Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it just doesn't matter, right, Dana? It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Um, I'll jump back in the chat in one second because I keep losing my train of thought. Um, so what else? So I don't know if I told you about the downstairs bathroom. The toilet broke after the inspection, after the final walkthrough. Suddenly the toilet was broken. The shower downstairs, like it sounds like the pipe's trying to jump out of the wall and uh, leaks all over the floor, which wasn't happening during the inspection either. Um, the fence in the back, we have this wrought iron fence in the back and pour, a portion of it, I don't know how it was rigged, but now it's like about, it's basically about to fall off. So we have to get this um, fixed. So I've had, you know, contractors here today. I've had three different fence guys out today. The AC people came out yesterday because suddenly the AC didn't work either. Um, and for whatever reason, in the middle of the night, it's um, like 80 degrees in the middle of the night. And in the daytime, it works. And so I've been trying to figure out. So the AC guys came out yesterday and messed around with it. They couldn't find anything huge wrong. But then they they fixed um, what they could. But then last night, it was like 78, 80 degrees in the house again, like at 2 in the morning. So this morning, I'm up like messing with the panel, trying to figure out, like, did he schedule it to where it was like, turning I, I don't know like you know how you can go in there and schedule you know he when you want it to cool off or heat up or whatever so i went in there this morning i didn't see anything like that though so i went in there and like scheduled everything to be 75 constantly you know and i'm going to leave it and see what happens and then if it continues to get all wacky i'm calling the ac people back out uh, let's see the pipe in the wall the there was something something I, I don't know exactly what the the plumber had like a object and he was like this thing was clogged up and that was causing the whatever and so he replaced the thing that was clogged up and i'm not like yeah same thing with the ac guys they were like well we put a return valve thing in the juju -ju -ju and the drain thing and they told me jargon and I was like, great, is it working? Awesome, write it down, email it to me. I I'll ha I don't know what that means. Um, so the shower thing, okay, and this is another thing. So when the plumber was here, I don't know if I talked to you about this. When the plumber was here, it turns out that one of the rooms upstairs, one of the rooms downstairs, and then the laundry room has been moved into the garage. We knew it was in the garage, but it turns out that was not built, the house wasn't built that way. Um, the, so we were trying to find out cause the plumber was like, this doesn't look, it just looks weird, you know? And then the inspection inside the, where the hot and cold water are in the garage are from when the house was built. And he's like, this was not factory. This is not like the way it was built. Um, so was, was there a permit to get all this stuff done and is it done correctly? And so he was saying, you know, We've got to find out if, because the bathroom downstairs, when he was looking at the shower, he was like, these are like cheapy, the cheapest cheap parts you could get. So whoever did this, it wasn't done by the builder. Um, so he's like, I'm not even sure I can get this part to fix it. And if I can't get this part to fix it, we're going to have to rip it all out and you're going to have to build in a new shower. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that's cool. Okay. Um, so we've been like hunting down, trying to find out if they got permits to get all this stuff done. I can't remember if I told you all this part before or not. So we've called the city and they're like, oh, it's not with us. It's the mud district. Call the mud district. Oh, it's not with us. It's the HOA. So we go to the HOA. They won't talk to my realtor. So I, I finally got a hold of them today and they think, well, they were like, well, there's not really any permits for inside the house. Like, so the inside stuff, whatever they did, didn't get like a city inspection to make sure it was done to code and all that. Yay. But she's like, there is stuff that he turned in to that, that was done on the outside of the house. And it looks really good. You guys, this is the thing. Like it's going to be really good. Like, so the outside stuff all looks really good. So if you're watching and you're the, the person I'm not going to mention, good job on the outside stuff. Um, <laughs> let's just get some positive positivity in there. Um, but she said, 
the HOA lady said she didn't think he hired a contractor because he, it turns out he was an engineer and she's like, I think he did it because all the things, the pat, the, all the pictures of, of the specs that he sent, it was like hit pictures of him with the materials, him with the measuring tapes. Um, so she's like, she has a feeling he did the work, including the stuff in the house, whatever's changed. So we'll just, we'll see. Yes. Push the thumbs up. Um, no, it's not just the shower handles leaking. It's like if you turn the hot water on, it's like the whole pipe sounds like it's trying to jump out of the the wall, like a jackhammer, go boom, 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 like loud. And then like it's almost like it's almost like somebody took the caulk, like and just removed it after the fact. <laughs> but why would somebody do that? So because it passed, I mean, it didn't do it during the inspection because basically once you turn that shower on, that water starts coming out, coming out, like you couldn't miss it. Right. And so, yeah, the inspector was like, oh, I don't think I would miss that. So when he, the inspector came back out and basically crawled all over everything. Oh, and then the leak in the ceiling. Did I tell you about the leak in the ceiling? <laughs> I think I did. Um, okay. I see you in the chat. I'm going to come back in just one second. Um, Oh, retro deep. I didn't even think about that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get paranoid. I'm going to be paranoid now looking like are there video cameras in this, in the vent? Um, so the inspector came back out. Luckily it was raining. So we could see there was a leak that had been there. Um, we can't prove that, that they knew that it was there. Um, but there was rust in the pan, like rust where this thing was. And, um, so it turns out like the vent pipe that goes up to the ceiling, to the roof, wasn't sealed properly. So it wasn't, it, it's, it's, you know, if it rains, the rain is going to come down through that vent pipe and come out onto the kitchen floor, basically the dining room area floor. So it's been that way. So there's no way they didn't know about it unless it never rained since they got something put into their roof. But um, we can't prove it obviously. Um, so that the inspector went up there onto the roof and he like sealed off everything. He was like every vent pipe, every nail head, every, everything. He, he sealed it all off for me. So, and it, then it rained again later and it didn't, it didn't leak anymore. So yay. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh my God. And, and I, I'm like, I know some people are like, I don't watch, this is not my, you know, why I watch Margaret's channel, but, but I'm just like, it is crazy. And if you're watching and you're him, I'm not calling you crazy. I'm just saying why. <laughs> okay. So just let it go. I'm going to let it go, but I have to vent. Okay. You got to give me that much. Good job on effing things up if you, if you really did it. So, okay. Let me go back into the chat because I know I miss some, I miss, I'm sure I'm missing telling you stuff. And let's see if you have, can remind me of what I'm forgetting. Um, tomorrow the, the dishwasher people are coming. Tomorrow, what else is coming? I should hopefully can get some bids on that fence. Okay, <sighs> breathing. Um, don't sweat the small stuff, it'll all work out. Yeah, yeah, it will, it will. Um, and my sister, yeah, I'll get back to my sister. I, I'm just trying, and every evening I'm like, I'm just gonna let it go, and every day is gonna, I'm just gonna tackle that day. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> so every day I'm just like, I'm gonna tackle, this day I've got these things scheduled. I'm going to get through this stuff. We're going to whatever gets thrown at me. So as I'm getting ready to come up here a little while ago, James comes comes down the stairs. He's like, Mom, yeah, I know you tell us always to flush the toilet, but the toilet upstairs is broken and I can't flush it. <laughs> I was like, what? You're kidding. He's like, no, I tried to flush it. It wouldn't flush. And then the handle came off in my hand. I mean, I could see like one or two, like a handful of things like messing up after you move into the house. But y'all, it has been one thing after another. And I'm just waiting for like the next thing. I'm just waiting for it. Um, oh, good. I'm so glad it's helping you. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it will be fixed. It just, it's just, it's just bad words that I want to say. <laughs> Thanks so much, lady. No, we're we're in the house now. We still have the apartment because we have to finish moving out of it, but we wanted to get out of the apartment. 
So we wanted a better thing. The loose pipe in the wall. So the plumber is going to let me know if he can get the parts to fix it. He's able to fix it. He's not sure because he's like, it's like these cheap Chinese parts. And I'm not to talk bad about Chinese, but that's what he said. Those were his words. So it's not like high quality, good grade material. So, um, yeah, I know. I need. I, I'm gonna. I, I haven't met the neighbors yet, so I'm just kind of like, well, let's just wait and be kind of like, we'll see how it goes, right? Um, if money can fix it, there's no real problem. That's true. That's true. And then, you know, there were things that we, you know, of course, we'd rather be doing with our money, but we want a nice home, so that's you know. Hello. <laughs> I'm taking five from putting mulch out. Oh, good, good. Well, I hope it's not too hot where you are. Um, time to set settings for your energies. Yeah, so I did that. Sounds like your overflow line is plugged. Yeah, and so the the well, they they checked it all. That's the thing with the AC, and it was working before. Like when the when the inspector came. Like I don't remember if I told you this. When the inspector came the first time, there was some rust in the pan, but it wasn't full of water, and there wasn't condensation, and da da da, da all this stuff. When he came back this time. He's like, there's condensation all up there on all the pipes. The water in the pan is full. Um, outside, the insulation that was on the pipe from the AC to the house is now saturated and off the pipe. And then all of this within a matter of like a week or whenever he inspected the house, you know? So it was like something has happened in that time. <sighs> so I don't know. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're keeping track of everything for sure. Um, what else did the inspector say? The, I mean, just like the readings on the AC, you know, didn't match what he did, and it, it was. I can't remember what else. I can't remember. Um, Richard David Jones says, "Do you think he's controlling the by his cell phone for the air conditioner?" I don't. I don't think so. I mean, that would be something. Uh oh, what did Richard say? He says, trust me, I'm an engineer. Wonky. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let me get back here. So, no, no mold. Like, with the leak, I did ask about that because, you know, I'm from Houston. So, and I said, well, is there, where this thing is coming down, where the water was dripping down, is there, like, fiberglass up there? Is there stuff for it to soak into? Um, anything I need to be worried about mold? And they all said, no, because it, it's this weird panel that is in, it looks like an AC unit panel, but it's not. It's like, it opens up and then there's like pipes for like a toilet. And they think it's because that was installed whenever the add-ons were done. So that it would be like an access point for the, the plumbing. So, um, yeah, oh gosh. Pipes, oh wait, wait, it just jumped. Hang on, it jumped. I'm coming back to the chat. Uh, pipes have a water hammer to prevent that from happening. Yeah, yeah, I don't think, I mean, I'm just going to hang on. He's Yeah, the inspector's been great. Um, that seal is a temporary fix. Yeah, yeah. See if it's rained since they had it on the market. Well, the thing was, like, there were these, like, fancy, the showing of the house like everything was in its place. Like there was furniture, but there was nothing out of place. And then I noticed afterwards that behind the kitchen table where the leaky stuff is, there was like a, a, a few like fancy pots that might've been like rainwater collection. I don't know for when it leaked. Maybe they just put it up on the table to collect the water that leaked out. I don't know. I'm like, why were these like random pots back here behind the table? Um, Francis says, most of us have a lot of issues when we move into a new home. And maybe that's maybe that's true. But I'm just like, I I didn't before. <laughs> I didn't know my last one. <laughs> so, but I think I just need to get it out. Yeah. And again, it's all hearsay. He could have possibly done nothing. But I don't understand it otherwise anyway. And yeah. Um it's hard to let it go when it's in your face, yeah. Ophelia says, we're ready to move. Found our neighbor spying on us through our bedroom window. What's the matter with people? Oh, my gosh. 
in the place of picket fence. Yeah, we've got like we we because of the neighborhood we're in, we have to have a certain kind of fence because we back up to a green space, so it has to kind of all match. So we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna be great once we get there. Um, once we, it's yeah, it's like little annoying things. You're right. It's, I mean, it's like some of them are gonna be. It just will. It just it will work out. Yeah. Um, I'm looking through the chat real quick. Real quick. There's a valve that'll shut off the system when the overflow. Okay. Yeah. It's and it really will. It's a nice home, so it's gonna be good. Really good when it gets all fixed. I feel like I'm just like planting my hands and deep breaths and because this is not what I thought was going to happen. And I guess this is what you get for, for making plans. You know, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Cause really I thought I'd be in, uh, I'm taking care of my sister, you know, and yeah. So we'll see. Where is the Jack in the, I don't have the Jack in the box here yet. Um, that's true. No asbestos as far as I know. <laughs> That's true. Let's look at the bright side. We're going to try to take the kids to the pool this evening because there's a neighborhood pool. Um, I don't know. So that's, that's what's going on. And I feel like I can't – every time I, I try to, you know, start and move on, it's like something else. Like, I, okay, moving on, moving on, boom, moving on, no, boom. You know, like just all these stumbling blocks constantly. Um yeah, and, and you know, in the last video I did that was talking about this, I got so many thumbs down. I don't even know why, but but I was just like, why? Whatever. I can't get to the reselling stuff right now. <laughs> even yesterday when I tried to um, when I tried to get to do the video for the jewelry jar, I was just so sensitive. I should have just not. It's a 2004, I think. Yeah, exactly, Joni. Like, no building permits if there was an addition put on. And I asked the girl, like, you know, at the HOA about that because one of the things that he had to, he got approval for was another window in the back. So what we – I don't know. Like, maybe the bedroom that was downstairs, we're thinking maybe that was a laundry room. Maybe it was – maybe the garage came in more. Maybe there was a laundry room or a butler's pantry and they put in a bathroom and a win put a window in to face out. Um, and maybe the one upstairs, maybe there was like a um, an attic access or something, or maybe it was a closet and they just built out over. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad because I like the space, but I just want to know, you know, yeah, probably. If he was doing it himself, there would there wouldn't be a a building permit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So that's that's pretty much it. That's where we're at right now. I got another toilet to fix. So when I when I jumped in, Chris and them were trying to do merch talk today, and I tried to jump in and um just say hey and and i just like one contractor was coming in and i was like okay hang on and then i was coming back another contractor i was like okay i just can't i got i, I tried to come say hey i can't you know so yeah that's where we are that's where we are mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah dana lots lots of them on the last one people didn't like me talking about i either they didn't like me being negative and talking crap or I don't know. They just want me for you. Just want me for one thing. Just bring me the reselling stuff. Um, yeah, and Chrissy, I'm trying to find out about that. About um, house, you know, another the floor plan. I asked the HOA, like, would you have it? In, you know, when you get a new a new build, like, there's a floor plan, right? So she said she was going to try to find out who the builders were. I think it must be on some of the paperwork that we've had. Yeah, yeah, I have a home warranty, so the the when the ac people came out it was 75 bucks deductible the when the dishwasher people come out it's going to be 75 bucks and the inspector is going to pay for that uh because like the ac it's like he can't help that it wasn't in the same condition that he you know he, he inspected it in it was different and then the dishwasher he was like i don't know how i missed that it kept running for five hours or whatever it was he was like i don't I, he's like, I don't think that happened, but I'm, I, he, so he's sending 
me 75 bucks to pay for the deductible for that. So if anything helps, you know, um, hello, thank you. Yeah, the tax assessor. No, well, that's the thing too, Joni. Okay, that reminded me. So today, um, I had to sign the warranty paperwork or the home, not the warranty, but the um, homeowner's insurance thing, you know, and because I had forgotten to sign it. So I said, well, I told my insurance agent, send it to me again because I need to, I don't know where it is. Okay, I just don't. So he sent it and I'm looking it over and it's like, the house has a fireplace and it's only got three bathrooms. And so I called him up and I said, this isn't right. You know, this, um, yeah, it's not right. And so, and then I was explaining to him, I said, I think they built on to the house. And he was like, yeah, cause we pull from the tax assessor, or the tax, whatever, you know, and that's what it says. So I said, it's got a fake fireplace in it unless they closed off the real fireplace and put it in the fake one. I don't know. Maybe it originally had a real fireplace um, because now it's just like, it's a sham. <laughs> you can put candles in there, which is fine. I don't care. Um, but it said we only have three bathrooms in the house. And I said, no, there's more bathrooms than that because of the add-ons. So my insurance premiums went up for being honest, but whatever. I just said, look, I'd rather have it right than something happen. And then I don't get my insurance won't cover me because it's not, I signed something that wasn't correct. So yay. Yay. Okay. Um, my husband is, no, he's not pissed. He's just, uh, he's not, he's not the one dealing with it. So he's working a lot, you know, cause he's got the new job. They just got bought out. So he's really just trying there. He and his team are trying to be the team that gets their work done and not be this thumb that sticks out. Like, you know what I mean? Like gets noticed for not finishing their work. So they've really been hustling over there. So he hasn't really dealt with any of this. So, which I guess is fine. I mean, that's that's my job, right? As the This is my job as the stay-at-home wife, right? So um, they replaced our, oh, wow. Not, oh, your oven last year under warranty. Nice, okay. The videos do have titles. That's right. Exactly, Marcy. They don't have to watch it. Um, yeah, the, ins and the insurance company didn't say much about the change. They were just like, okay, well, we'll, we'll update the paperwork. Thanks for letting us know. And then, P.S., it's going to cost you more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the, when, we, when my realtor called the city to ask about the in the city inspection and the building permits, this Round Rock said, you know, no, they're in a municipality. Called the municipality and they said, no, we don't deal with it because you're still in a neighborhood that's being built or something. Um, from what I understand, they moved to New York. From that, this is what I've heard that they moved to New York. So yeah, it's 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 going to be good when it gets all done. And I appreciate y'all listening because I needed to come and. Yeah, what about the tax assessment? Do you change that? Shh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Let them think we have three bathrooms. I don't know. Unless the tax man's watching, then I'll let you know. The the, the information's in the mail. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe because I maybe I said something mean about New York in the other one. Maybe that's why people gave me thumbs down. I like New York. Yeah, I don't you. Uh, I don't even know what that has to do with anything. Okay, all right. So yeah, um, we'll get a refrigerator on Saturday. That's good news. What's else good news? I put together. We put together some IKEA furniture, and I got one down there that I almost ripped the doors off of because I couldn't get them straight. So that's just hanging there, waiting to be done. What else is good news? What else is good news? Dang it! Um, I'll tell you more good news later. I'm breathing. That's good news. And I have food and healthy children. Everybody's healthy, right? Every Okay, bye. Yeah, everything's going to be good. Okay. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to come give you guys an update. And I, I think that brings us all up to date for everything. I'll let you know as things progress. But things are going to get better.
They will. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. My sis is healing. This is true. My dad's been there taking care of her. He's going to stay through the week. And uh, her, she sent me pictures of her hip. You want to see? Not the pictures. I can show you pictures of her bones, like the x-rays. She sent me pictures of her x-rays. Let me see. Oh, that's uh, that's cute. That's not. I didn't. I didn't see that one. Hang on. I think she was trying to cheer me up. So this is the picture of her. I hope she didn't mind. See that big old screw? That's her hip. And then they put like a big pin down her leg, almost to her knee. So that's her. That. Um. Hang on. She sent me another one. Look. I'm a buff baby. Yeah. We can dance like a man. Um, I can shake him. And then she sent me this picture. I I didn't realize that's what she sent me, but she sent me a picture of a dog looks like it's wiping its bottom on a bed but then she put my face on it so I think she was trying to cheer me up and I didn't even notice that she texted me that so yeah thanks Elaine for for that <laughs> we'll work on we'll work on your Photoshop skills but it's cool thanks <laughs> anyway okay um, we'll leave it. We'll leave it with that. With me. We'll yeah. We'll just call it right there. There we go. Okay, you guys have a great evening, and that's a good thing to end on, right? Okay, my sister trying to cheer me up. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's robot parts. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for listening. Again, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.